Hello everyone, thanks for tuning in to today's final final video. We're going to have a look at the weather for the dead 14 days for today's final video. Day 10 will take us to the 3rd of November and we'll be able to extend out beyond that. We have sent you a bear, sent you some ensembles. Maybe once around a couple of weeks, we'll have a look at the ZFSB2 at the end of the video for the next four weeks. And that gets us into the second half of November. I shall get on with that for you in a moment, <laughs> just to say that the first video release today was our 6am UK weather forecast. I will also release the EC30 day of the UK and for the rest of Europe too. Please check out those two vids if you'd like to do that. Like, share and subscribe on all today's videos and content. And thank you so much everybody for doing that for Gals Web. It's 30 subscribers, less than 30 subscribers, around 20 Eight, I think, 28 to 29 subscribers going to get 17.1k. Subs are moving quite quickly at the moment. Please give us a sub. Help get us 17,100 subscribers. And thank you so much, everybody, for doing that for a uh, gas or weather bids. Wow, wow, wow. Right, okay, let's start off with Chocolate Atlantic. We've got two interest er areas. We've got, uh, we've got 21 here. Chubbyville depression 21, giving maximum sustained winds of 30 mile per hour with a minimum set pressure of 1,007 millibars. Clicking on that, we can see it's going to be going post tropical any time over Nicaragua, so we don't have to worry too much about that one. And uh, well, although it will be producing lots of very heavy rain, of course, across, um, across central parts of America, but uh, it's not going to become a trouble storm or hurricane. And uh, then we've also got Tammy here. We've got Hurricane Tammy. Uh, category 1 hurricane giving maximum sustained winds of 75 mile per hour with a minimum set pressure of 987 mm. Clicking on Tammy, we can see if it's going to remain as a hurricane till Thursday and then later uh, in the week it's going to be going post tropical, becoming post tropical storm around Bermuda at the end of the week and into the weekend. We'll keep you posted. Central temperature continuing to tick down. We're now under 13 degrees for the first time this month, I think. So uh, we're now sitting at 12.9, which is still 2.5 degrees or 2.4 degrees above 61 to 99 average. That is provisional to yesterday, to the 23rd of, uh, of October. I've got to think I'm going to finish up in below 12s. It's probably somewhere in below 12s. But we shall see. These are the 500 millibar height, on, height anomaly flow charts from Penn State University for the next week, 10 days. We've got the ECM WF on the top and the GFS is on the bottom. 500 millibars, 18,000 feet, is an area in the actual high pressure and low pressure that have been moved down by the jet stream running above. Blue extrapolates to below average heights, which is low pressure. Yellow, orange, and red to above average heights, which is high pressure. We can see it with the ECM, with a 7 to 10 day time frame, looks very, very unsettled indeed, with low pressure in the North Atlantic into Northern and Western Europe. There is a bit of a blocking signal, though, you'll notice. We have got some above average heights, some high pressure sitting up towards Greenland and back into the Arctic. And that is really what's forcing the jet stream and the areas of low pressure Southwards now still not lining up to bring anything particularly cold, although Northern Scotland would probably be pulling in some colder north northeasterly winds. It's really a blocking signal. It's interesting. That's been showing up for a few days now on the uh, model output, and um, if that strengthens, you know, further, then eventually that could start to bring in some colder air from the north as we progress through November. This is how the GFS midnight run is looking. Again, with the uh, below average heights, with below pressure in from the Atlantic into West Europe, just put the G in there, so you know the GFS. Uh, so low pressure running in from the Atlantic into West Europe. Again, we do see that blocking signal up towards Greenland and back into the uh, Arctic, or Swalwar, for example. Um, jet stream is pushed southwards with that. We are close to bringing in, like, a north or a northeasterly wind. Just not quite, <coughs> excuse me, just not quite. I've got sore throat back today. <laughs> Again, I can't quite shake this one up. It's, it's like that, it's like the boomerang. Do you ever remember blue, the boomerang flew on the boomerang gold for about three or four years ago? As soon as she afforded it gone, then bang, bang, back it came. Well, it's a little bit like that, this one, that, <laughs> that I've got at the moment. So, yeah, the throat's a little bit um, scratchy again today. Uh, anyway, back to business. 
<laughs> low pressure, not interested in my, in my ailments, are you? Back to business. Low pressure, uh, the jet stream uh, pushed southwards again with the GFS. Just not quite lining up to bring anything particularly cold to us, but we do need to keep an eye on this blocking area of high pressure away to the north. Could that start to eventually pour some cold air down? into the west of Europe. These are the GFS upper air temperature uh, precipitation ensembles for the next couple of weeks on the commentary today. The red line is the 30 year upper air temperature average for commentary. So you're starting off a round average at the moment, not a particularly big deviation from the rest of October. We do see a little bit of a cooling trend in evidence though, as we go through the first week or so of, uh, of November. A lot of scatter within that, so we can't discount these milder ensemble members up here <coughs> excuse me but overall it does look as though there's a little bit of a cooling trend that's showing up that's probably due to the jet stream uh and the areas of low pressure being pushed further samples by that blocking area of high pressure and precipitation wise just was really unsettled from beginning to end basically there's just lots and lots of rainfall spikes there so it looks looks like it's going to be a continuation of the deluge and more particularly so in southern areas actually with both areas of low pressure and the jet stream being forced southwards temperature anomaly is the 24th of october 1st of november about average not a particularly big deviation a little bit above in the south maybe slightly below in the north i say not a particular big deviation either way. Precipitation and long driving average for northern and western Scotland, but actually wetter than average for much of England and Wales, especially so the further south and south east you happen to go. Latest wind from that from Earth, no school dot net shows we've got an area of low pressure sitting in the southern North Sea. There's more low pressure in the Atlantic. This one is going to be bringing a return of the westerly through the second half of this coming wind. Okay, let's start going through chart data. There be some latest UK met Europe runs with midnight on Friday. Low pressure coming in from off the Atlantic. That, be, that will be bringing further showers and a lot of spells of rain with it. Now, as we go from Saturday into Sunday, we've got this area of low pressure just here. That could well give some very wet and windy weather for the second half of the weekend. For Sunday, might be a bit of a washout for some parts of the country. And then that low pressure moves away eastwards as we get through to Tuesday the 31st of October, Halloween, this time next week. Notice heights rise there. Rise around, uh, I haven't been doing that in my throat. Heights rise around Iceland and back into uh, the northern latitudes. So again, possibly bringing in a bit of a north easy flow into the uh, far north of the country. Not cold up to that point, but got to watch what those blocking signals are up to. Icon, again, with low pressure, dominating weather on Friday and into the weekend. More areas of low pressure coming in from the Atlantic. This one could well bring some very wet and possibly quite windy weather in across England and Wales in particular. Saturday night and into Sunday. That area of low pressure is sat right over top of the country for the early part of next week. Then the low pressure eases away to the east. High pressure tries to reach down from the north. That tries to turn things colder. Um, we have got more low pressure in Atlantic, which I suspect is just going to override that uh, ridge attempt. But again, we do need to keep an eye on what this high pressure attempt, anyway, within the northern latitudes is doing. The GFS midnight run, once more, bringing low pressure in from off the Atlantic, plenty of wind and rain coming in without at the end of the week and into the weekend. Low pressure is never far away, so lots of wet weather to come through the early part of next week. In fact, the unsettled weather continues in the second half of next week as well. A little bit of a transient ridge trying to build up there around day 10, but that's quickly pushed aside by this deep low to the north of Scotland. So wet and windy through the first week of uh, November, really. Uh, and no change, actually, up to the end of the GFS midnight run. The GFS 6 Z is again bringing that area of those areas of low pressure in from off the Atlantic through the end of the week and into the weekend. Through the only part of next week, the low pressures get pushed southwards as this ridge builds to the north. That start to push southwards and bring some colder air down from the north with it. So uh, we've got by the middle of next week, 1st of November, low pressure city across the south, probably bring more wet weather in the north. We are quite close to start to pull some cold air in out of Scandinavia, uh, actually. And then this next low sort of dies in. This one just here. 
on Wednesday the 1st of November. That dies in for uh, Thursday the 2nd. And that's on a southerly chance. So that brings some really wet weather down into south. Notice to the north of that, winds are coming in from the east. So cold and wet, really, with the, uh, uh, with the Jeff S6 there uh, into the start of November. Uh, relatively mild with the upper air temperature in the south. Of course, it'll be pouring with rain. So be pretty chilly there. And further north, we are actually bringing some quite cold air out of uh, Scandinavia on those easterly winds. That's day 10 with a GFS 6 set. Looks pretty messy, quite cold and unsettled. We're going to a bit of a northerly then on Saturday the 4th of November. Our prayer temperature's looking uh, really quite cheap. And another major low coming in on a southerly trap. This is really at the extended range now, so we're a, we're a very, very long way out. This is Monday the 6th of November, but that's, again, is what we call a channel low, with below pressure running along the south coast and through the channel. On the northern edge of that, in winter anyway, we can get snow, probably won't be much snow, because it's only the 6th of November, but there might be something a bit wintry over Pennines and whatnot with that. But the main thing of interest is the pattern here. It's a very wet, but also cold, quite cold pattern that we're setting up here with the GFS 6 there. That's how it looks as we get to the end of the uh, GFS 6 there. Um, winds are in from a northerly direction, so pretty chilly and uh, probably quite showery there as well. If you enjoyed the video, please can you like, share and subscribe. Thank you so much everyone for doing that. Why not drop a comment? Let's know what you think about this and all of our videos. And don't get to friends about Gals well, Worthy. Thank you so much everyone for doing that. As I keep saying, we only need to put on around 28, 29 Nice subscribers to get us out to 17.1k, 17,100. If you could give us up, give us a sub, that would be amazing and it would be incredible. And we would thank you so very much, Lee, for doing that. Okay, GM, once again, we have low pressure in the ascendancy at the end of the week and into the weekend. This low here could bring some very wet weather, northwards and eastwards on Saturday night. And into Sunday. Into the beginning of next week, the low pressure moves its way eastwards, a ridge building to the north, along with most of the other model outputs, seeing this ridge uh, up toward Greenland and Iceland, which is enough to start pulling the wind into that northerly or northeasterly direction. Uh, then we reach sort of through the country as we go toward the middle of next week for low pressure and start coming back in from the Atlantic around day 9, 10, keeping the cool but also unsettled weather going. Notice again an appreciable level of blocking away to the north with those yellow colours there uh, around Svalbard as we get towards day 10 with the jam. Um, but up to that point, not in a position to bring anything particularly cold to us. And then the ECM rounding it all off with these areas of low pressure in control through Friday and into the weekend as well. This low to the southwest brings lots of heavy rain up from the south of the west, potentially Saturday into Sunday. And then into the early part of next week, the low pressure eases its way eastwards, winds turn into the north, so it turns uh, cooler through the middle part of next week before the next area of low pressure sweeps in from off the Atlantic. This is Thursday, Friday, looking really unsettled then. Uh, set of pressure with this low is around 970 to 965 millibars, I think as we go to our days uh, 9 and 10. So, yes, very, very wet and cyclonic pattern there for the beginning of November. This is a precipitation forecast based on the ECM run from Tometio.com. So further showery rain to come today and tonight. And then tomorrow, wet weather is coming in from off the Atlantic. That clears away sunshine and showers in the second half of the week. Into the weekend, up comes this heavy rain from Saturday into Sunday. So uh, very unsettled through the uh, weekend into early next week. Further showers, got longer spells of rain as well. Uh, a little bit dry around the middle of next week, and then in comes the next deluge around days 9 and 10. Lots of heavy rain coming in uh, with that one as well. Cold and wet. These are the options on the table within the ECM Ensemble's Day 4, Day 10. Gets us to the 3rd of November from the Icelandic Met Office. 11 members of the ECM Ensembles with low pressure over the country, combined with some high pressure around Greenland and Iceland. That just looks very unsettled. Not all that far from bringing in some colder air into the far north. We've got 10 with high pressure again to the north of North Things, but it's this low in the Atlantic into West Europe that's in the sense it's in control. We've got 9 again with low pressure dominating from off the Atlantic. We've got 8 with deep low pressure through the Atlantic into Western Europe. We've got 7 with low pressure weight towards Greenland and Iceland, high pressure 
down to south southwest. That's a little bit dry. It should be quite mild as well, actually. And then we've got six with low pressure southwest, high pressure is to the north. So we've got northern blocking, but wind is probably coming up from a southerly or a southeasterly direction with that. Uh, those two options, the six and the seven there, the seven and the six, they look quite isolated. I think the majority option, or the vast majority option, op option is the 11, the 10, the 9, and the 8, uh, with low pressure in the ascendancy at day 10. And to each time, these are the options that we've got. And it gets us to the 8th of November. 18 members of the ECM ensembles keep the deluge going. Low pressure over the top of the UK and West Europe. 17 with deep low pressure in the Atlantic. Keeping it very unsettled too. We've got 6 with high pressure building towards Scandinavia. And that's having a go get wind into colder easterly. We've got 5 with a mid-Atlantic ridge. It could bring some cooler air in from the northwest. And then we've got another 5 with low pressure over to the south of the country. High pressure blocking to the north. That's still very unsettled. And uh, winds could be coming in from the north, though, in the northern half of the country with that. I think unsettled weather is going to continue, certainly into the opening days of November, and maybe even beyond that. We'll have to wait and see, but I would not be overly surprised. Okay, CFS finally, and then we're done. Meets a 500 millibar high to is bringing down to meet Piers. The first week period takes from the 24th to the 30th of October. This next week will be very unsettled with low pressure over to the south of the country, high pressure blocking up to the north. We're very close, pulling some cold air in to the north. But actually, as it is, it probably is not that cold, but probably cool. And uh, particularly for the south, very wet. Week two will be the 31st of October, 6th of November. Low pressure dominates from off the Atlantic in that week. Week three is going to be the 7th to the 13th of November. Still looking really unsafe. Notice the surface eradicating that blocking signal after week one. Uh, which it often does, of course. You know what we call the CFS of the uh, live streams. And uh, week four, beat the 14th to the 20th of November, keeping the low pressure going, albeit with high pressure towards Spain. So that's going to be dry, but probably quite mild there. Um, uh, it's going to be wet, I should say, but probably quite mild there for the fourth week. We shall see about that. That's a long way off, I think. Okay, we're done. If you've enjoyed the video, please, can you like, share, and subscribe. Thank you so much, everybody, for giving that. Why not drop a comment? Let's know what you think about this and all about videos. And don't get to tell friends about Gals Web Biz. Get them to subscribe as well. And we thank you so much, everybody, for doing that. If you do give us a sub, you'll be able to see future weather content, including future change 14 days, future live streams, future Christmas Eve speakers, and the continuation of our winter updates. Thank you so much, everybody, for doing that. Right, I'll just tell you what's happening on my channel tomorrow. So we're, we're going to have a 6 a.m. UK weather forecast. We're going to have a look at the JMA seasonal model. It'll be JMA Wednesday. Looking at uh, the JMA model for November, December and January. And they'll be live streaming our 10 to 14 day at 6 p.m. And then straight after that, we're going to be releasing the fourth and final Christmas 2023 Sneaky Peaky. So um, that will be coming up straight after the live stream. Uh, so an epic day of content coming up tomorrow. Please keep checking back to the channel for more. For uh, this one, though, that's all for now. And thanks so much.